Hi, my name is Vincott Palmer, but most people call me Vinny. Music and education have always been a part of my life, and I had married the two together. In 2019, I felt a strong inclination to expand my skills outside the classroom. What if I could reach learners from all different demographics? I started to feel a strong inclination toward virtual learning. I wanted to be a trusted instructor, taking into consideration learning theories and strategies that would engage all kinds of learners. Robert Greene discusses in his book, Mastery, the strategy of returning to childhood inclinations. For me, that inclination was music, but it wasn't just music. It was a chance encounter with a master. That master's name is John P. Key. And then one fateful day, while visiting the local bookstore, Christian bookstore, should I say, my mom stumbled upon a tape by a man named John P. Key. I had never heard of this guy before, but I was intrigued. When she played the tape in the car, it was as if the dimming light in my heart and my soul had come alive. He was fusing funk and R&B and rock and hip hop into gospel. He, I had never heard that before and I couldn't wait to get home to practice it. From that point on, my love for music had been rekindled and re-energized and I still carry that fire to this day. Robert Greene talks about occupying the perfect niche or the right niche. He used the example of Matsuka, who combined different skills to make a unique or even new field. As a musician growing up in church, I realized early that there were thousands like me. I started asking myself the question, what makes me special? What makes me unique? For years, I felt that the only place I could be relevant was either the church or the stage. The answer came when I discovered teaching. While I have a unique approach to music, it means very little to me if I can't share it with the world academically. Robert Greene instructs us to actively rebel against anything that pushes us away from our path. The rebellion strategy resonated with me because I've always been a conformist, ever since I was a little kid. I attended Baldwin Wallace University for my first undergraduate degree. But I went to Baldwin Wallace for business. Why? I convinced myself that I was not good enough to excel in a music curriculum. The result was a mediocre GPA and no real collegiate achievements other than having a degree. I was finally ready to break free from limitations I had placed on myself. Robert Greene says loyalty should be to ourselves and not a company or position. For years, I used my involvement in church as a crutch. I never wanted to be seen as unfaithful or wavering in my faith. This led me to wasted years running from my true calling. This year, I am determined to break free from that. Finally, Robert Greene speaks of being led astray by the pursuit of money or prosperity. The lure of money and the fear of lack led me to ignore my passion. Most of us need money to sustain our lifestyles. My problem was that I had lost the passion for my calling in pursuit of money. So where was my turning point? My turning point story begins in 2011. I had been married for four years with our second child on the way. My wife was the majority breadwinner for our house. I heard about the Recording Arts and Technology program at Tri-C, but did not have the courage to pursue it. One day a friend and I were conversing about life and he shared his experience as a Tri-C student. I decided to enroll for the fall knowing little about what was ahead of me. The first day of class felt like someone had turned the lights on in my world. I was finally pursuing my calling and it felt amazing. About six months before I graduated, I received a call from the Dean of Creative Arts. He complimented me on my progress through the program and told me I had been recommended for the Recording Arts instructor position 
at a new school called Cleveland High School for the Arts. At that moment, I knew my life was changing for 